I'm taking you on an adventure. Now today, I'm going to be sharing with you the computer that I built a year ago and I'm going to take you on an adventure. We're going to install some new RAM. I've got a graphic card ready for it. I want to give you a bit of background, so do not go anywhere. It's going to be awesome. So this is the computer that I bought, built myself about a year ago from parts and new parts. I basically reused the case and the disk drive and the old hard drive. I got a new motherboard. Um, I, the chip that's on it is the Ryzen 5, I believe it's like the 2600G. I'll leave the specs in the um, description below if you're interested. I put 16 gigabytes of RAM in it and it comes with Vegas graphics which has been more than I've needed to be fair. And just so you, just so you know, I haven't played like, you know, the biggest graphic games on it on purpose. I don't do things like Call of Duty and stuff like that, I tend to leave that for my Xbox. but. I will say that what I have done is played some brilliant games, things like Age of Empire and, and the Total War games and stuff like that, Company Heroes, and it has been a really good computer up till now, but I've just decided, you know what, I fully intended to play around with this computer, it was basically my sort of second computer to play games on, to mess around with, and I just thought it would be really cool to upgrade it. So I've got some 16GB um, of RAM, I've got a DIMM here. Uh, this is from Kingston, I'll leave some links in the description below, so go and check it out. And this is basically 16 gig of RAM, I've, uh, it's DDR4, I'm going to insert it in the board today, I'm going to see if it works, hopefully it does. I have checked that it should fit with this, so this will be interesting. So stick around to see if it works. <laughs> and then later on, and depending on how you guys like this video, I've also got a graphic card, um, so look out for that video where I will insert that in, but that's going to be a bit more complex video, so look at getting value so far from this video. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, and let's see if this RAM works, baby! So this computer just goes like this. I will show you inside, but I've made it very easy for myself um, because it basically just has a single screw that pops off like that, that falls off. Now, the first time I put this in, for whatever reason, the computer did not like it. So uh, let's hope it works second time around. Uh, please feel free in the comments below, have you inserted laptop RAM? Because that is uh, really awkward. I found anyway. We're waiting for the clip. And there it is. Our dim of RAM inserted. There is my 32 gigs of RAM. Whey! And it worked. And uh, just some few things to note for those of you who are probably like, what are you doing, Dave? Um, when you saw me insert in the dim, yes, uh, make sure to earth yourself to the um, the chassis or the, the case before touching anything electrical in there. There's a very small chance it will overly damage you or the computer, especially if you obviously don't have it plugged in or anything. It'll be easy to do when I've got the, the bright front light blinding me and, and cooking me and um, the pressure of trying to get it right for you guys. Um, but I must admit that the first attempt, um, I must have just not quite got it in. Uh, right, and it didn't work. It just still said I had 16 or just under. Interesting to see how it performs. Now, I appreciate technically some of you may um, agree that 16 to 32 probably won't see a massive difference because it is ultimately about the chip and the graphic card. So, I plan to see quite a nice difference with the graphic card. So, I'm very much looking forward to that. Anyway, if you got value from today's video, smash the like button because it's subscribing. Feel free to give views and comments and you know, what you would like to see and do you find this type of content interesting here at the channel here at TBR Creators and look out for the next video and I will leave a link to that which is done which will be in the end cards. So look out for the end cards and I'll put it in the, the cards that pop up through the video, whatever you call them. <laughs> it's been an adventure. I hope you've enjoyed this little adventure and the next one's going to be even more jam-packed as Dave is going to insert and install a graphic card. Look out for that video. See you again, you guys rock.